What's up guys and gals, this is Interface. Follow me on all these social media, like, share, and subscribe. What's up guys and gals, and in this video, I'm going to show you why you shouldn't throw away your old shoes. Now, a lot of people have videos online showing how you glue the bottoms of your shoe back in, but they use this glue called E6000. The problem with E6000 is that yes, it is flexible, which is good, the problem is it's not very strong. I use 3M Scotchweld PR40, or you can use PR1500 or 600. The number behind it doesn't matter as long as it's the Scotchweld 3M. And the reason I use that is it's about, I would say, anywhere from 10 to 15 times stronger than E6000. The only downside is it's not really flexible. But if you want your shoes to last, from me using E6000 and my other videos, E6000 isn't as strong. A good example of this is when, let's say you're riding a bicycle or an electric bicycle and you put your feet down to the ground to slow yourself down and that will be the test to see how strong the glue is. And E6000 doesn't really hold up. The glue starts ripping apart after either a few days to a few weeks. Um, if you're going through treacherous ground or you're putting your shoes through heavy lifting or just time itself. But 3M Scotch Weld seems to hold up to literally anything you throw at it. It's tougher than concrete. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to glue your shoes the right way with PR 1500, 600 or PR 40. The number again really doesn't matter. So right now I'm using bicycle tires that are were already worn, kind of worn out from the side. They have a rip and I'm going to turn over my shoe upside down and with scissors cut out the rubber from the tire itself and glue it on.
I'm also gluing the bottom of the shoe back in because it was ripping apart. That's what usually happens with old shoes. And of course, as you can see, the new tread on there actually grips the ground when you walk. It's way easier to walk on slippery surfaces when they're wet. The thing is with bicycle tires, they don't last too long. So I would recommend if you're doing this to actually use the sidewall of car tires. That obviously will last forever. Um, I've been using car tires, the sidewall of car tires for my bicycle tires and I've gotten about over 1500 miles on it and it's still holding in strong. That's on a heavy electric trike um, carrying a lot of stuff back and forth for over 1500 miles and it's still holding up strong so I recommend the only difference that you would do in this video is use the sidewall of car tires. I hope this video was helpful to you guys and subscribe to my next videos. See ya. This is Interface. Follow me on all these social media and if you like my videos, like, share and subscribe.